Today was a great day. We got to uh, come to Children's Hospital, where I am here in the cafeteria. We got to do two simple dishes. One's a pineapple granita, uh, and the other one were these uh, Oreo cream cheese truffles. Children's Hospital here in Boston, which everyone knows is one of the best hospitals for children in the world. They create magic and hope here. If Blue Ginger and my team can be just a small part of putting a little joy into these children's heads, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's blessed. Food allergies have always been very personal to me. Our first son was born with tons of food allergies, and food allergies in this country have been just really growing exponentially up. More celiacs, which is an intolerance to gluten, um, and just plain old food allergies, be it soy, wheat, dairy, shellfish, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, or fish. Those are the top eight. As a chef, we have a responsibility to be able to serve food safely to every single customer in America. You should have the confidence to be able to go to a restaurant, to a hospital, to an amusement park, know that you can get things that are wheat-free or peanut-free or soy-free. It's all about training and education. Knowing that if you cut peanuts with a knife on a board, you can't use that same knife to slice tomato. You cross-contaminate it. The fryer, you can't fry shrimp in a fryer then fry french fries. If a kid has a shellfish allergy or an adult, they can have a reaction. So it's a responsibility of being a chef or a chef owner to know what's in your food. So if you happen to be a parent with a child food allergies, there is hope. There's a lot of research being done here at Children's. There's a great resource called FAN, the Food Allergy Anaphylaxis Network. It's a wonderful place to, to join and to find out more about food allergies in this country.